Welcome, I'm Matt with Night Run Studio, and in this video, we'll be creating the user interface for our equipment system. Heads up, this first one's a bit of a beast. Equipment UI can get a little bit messy. It's complicated as there's a lot going on. In this video, I'll try to streamline that process so that you get a system that is tightly organized so you don't lose your mind. At the base of the system is three panels. On your left will be the stat panel. This will house a portrait of your player and list all your player's current stats. The center panel will show the slots of your current equipment. It will display your player's image, which will be updatable when you equip new gear. At this point as well, your stats will also update. Now at the bottom of the panel will be a slot that will show the stats of your currently selected item. The final panel on the right will be an equipment inventory which will show all of the items available to equip to your player. As a side note, this system is a direct follow-up to my inventory system tutorial series. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, I suggest you start there as that will give you the foundation you need for this series. All right, let's get started. So to begin, we're just going to double click on the inventory canvas here in order to zoom out so we can see what we're doing. And at this point, we're going to add a new UI panel. We are going to have to add some margins onto this panel. I'm going to go with 150 on the sides and 140 across the tops. At this point, I'm just going to click on my color and go to a nice dark black. And there we have our first panel. I'm going to call this one equipment panel. Now there may be further panels you want to add down the road. Perhaps you want to add a notebook panel, an atlas, a character panel, that sort of thing. For now, these are just going to be placeholders. One thing you will need, however, is one more of these panels, and this one will be our menu tab. Essentially what this is just going to do is it will have buttons on it that will allow you to toggle between your different menus. Now for the moment, you can collect all of these, set them to inactive, and then just bring back the equipment panel so that we can see what it is that we have to work with right now. Now there's going to be a lot of panels within panels for this tutorial and we're going to get started with those right away here. So on our equipment panel, I'm just going to minimize our image here and what we're going to do now is add a horizontal layout group. This will allow us to organize the panels inside of this panel so that they stay in the right place as our screen changes size or we move to different resolutions. I'm going to be working with a spacing of 25 for most of my UI and I do want to align things to the middle center. I'll also just unclick the child force expand here. Now with that done, I can create my new panels by right clicking and down to UI panel. And at this point I can add the first of my three key panels, the stat panel. I'll also set this panel to be black just like I did with the other ones. And we'll just set our size. In this case I'll make my 350 by 750. And I'm just going to come over here and use command D to duplicate that twice. The first one will be for my player equipment panel. The only difference here is that we'll go with 550 as our width. And the final one will be our item panel to hold all of our goodies for the player. And we'll set that one with a width of 600. All right, with that done, things are looking pretty good. Now our stat panel will house two other panels. And so we're going to add this time a vertical layout group as they will be vertical panels. We're gonna go a spacing of 25 all the way around, continuing to center middle and this time we will leave the child force expand clicked. We're going to then add our panel. This first one will be our portrait. And the size for this one will come in at a width of 300 and a height let's go with 250. At this point in your image you could just set an empty sprite here or if you have a placeholder head image you could use that as well. That's what I'm going to be doing. And so I've got a head sprite in there. Now you'll notice it's faded at the moment and to fix that we just need to go to color and bring our alpha up to full. We can now go back to the stat panel and we're going to add one more UI panel. And this one is going to be the stat panel itself. So we'll call it stats. This time we're going to go with 300 by 425 to fill that space. This one is going to be another dark panel. And essentially what we're going to do here is have a series of panels that have the name of our stat as well as the number for its value. And so to do that, we're just going to add a, another vertical layout group. This time we're going to go with a slightly smaller spacing and actually we're going to have zero except at the top and bottom. And this time we will align to the upper center. 
With that done, we can get started on the work of actually making some of these. In the very first one, we'll right click on stats here and we're gonna just add a UI Text Mesh Pro. I'm gonna call this one title as it's the title for this section and I'll just actually write in player stats. I'm gonna be using the bangers font for this one as I just like the look of it. And we wanna just set our width to 300, which is the width of the box. You can then center and that sort of thing. All right, now it may be tempting at this point to go ahead and fill in all of your own stats, but the rest of them are gonna be just a little different. So if you click on stats, go to UI, and we're gonna add another panel now. Here we'll call this one health, as this will be our health panel. And don't forget to set a width to it. We're also going to add a horizontal layout group. Yes, you'll be seeing a lot of these today. And that's because we want to control both of the text mesh pros that are going to go in here. Now you don't actually have to set anything. This will just help us to keep the two controlled. Now under health, we're going to add UI, text mesh pro. And we're just going to have two here. The first one will be the stat name, in this case health. And then we also are just going to need to set a width. I'm going to go with 175 as that's going to fit pretty nicely. I'll then duplicate this stat name here. And this will be the actual stat itself. Now in this case for health, I'm just gonna do 00 slash 00 to get a feel for what that's gonna look like. I'm also gonna set this one to have a slightly larger width and we'll go with 200 this time. All right, that's looking pretty good. At this point, I can minimize that and I'm gonna just duplicate health four times for four different stats. If you wanna have more stats, you can. And you can go ahead and name these as you would like. One little note at this point is you will probably want to center these as it just gives it a nicer look. However, of course, our box is too large. And so if you go up to the top here, since we don't need as many digits, we can make these a size of 100. All right, with that done, we can close up our stats panel here and the entire panel itself, and we're ready to move on to our player equipment panel. This will be the most complicated of them, just to give you a heads up. So first off, what we're gonna wanna do here is add a, another vertical layout group, as we will have a couple of layers going on. We're gonna set our spacing back to the customary 25, and we're going to upper center align. And we're gonna have three panels on this one. The first will be our name panel, which will have a size of about 500 by 75, and we'll set it to be black. The only thing we'll need to add to this is a UI Text Mesh Pro. We'll call that one name, and you can just pretty it up to look however you would like. With that done, we can go back to our player equipment panel, add another UI panel. We'll make this one black as well, and we'll make the name player equipment panel. Our size this time is going to continue to be a 500 width, but we'll make this one about 400 in height. So to get this one set up, we're definitely going to need a horizontal layout group to keep track of those. And essentially there's going to be three tiers here. We're just going to set those to middle center align. And let's leave this for the moment. We're gonna add our bottom panel and then we'll come back to this one as it is the most complicated. So let's head to player equipment panel where we'll add one last time a UI panel. We'll make this one black will be 500 by 200 and we're just going to call this one the item stat panel as it will display our stats. This one's going to have another horizontal layout group as it's just going to have two things in here the image as well as the stats themselves. So we can middle center align we're going to go UI image I'll call this one selected item image and obviously we don't want a big white square to appear. So to fix that, first of all, let's get our size set. I'm gonna go with a size of 160 by 160, which will fit nicely. And then under image, you can either set a blank sprite, or if you would like to see what it looks like with an actual item in there, you can try that out. I'm gonna set mine to the default of a blank sprite. Let's go back to our item stat panel, and now we can get started adding in our stats again. So we can add a UI panel here. We'll just call this one selected item stats. As usual, we'll set this one to a black color and we're just gonna give it a size of 290 by 160. All right, now that we've got that space filled, we're essentially going to create the stats here the same way we did for our player stats. They'll just be displaying different information as it'll be the items image instead. So we'll create a panel, which can be the stat panel. We'll set that one to be absolutely see-through so you can take your alpha off. Because this will have two text mesh pros, we're gonna give it a horizontal layout group. We don't need to do anything special with that, but we're now gonna add our text mesh pro. 
call this first one stat name. And get an attack stat. And I'll just set my size a little smaller, going with 32 this time. A width of 200 should serve just fine. I'm just going to hit Command D to duplicate that. And this time it will be the stat number. I'm just going to put a zero for now. And that's looking pretty good. At this point, we can just repeat that for each of your stats. At the moment, you'll notice all of these stats are stacking on top of each other. So we'll go to our selected item stats. And just remember to add a vertical layout group here. That should spread them out nicely. You can then name your stats as you would like them to be named. All right, with that done, we can close up our item stat panel. And at last, we're going to get started on this player equipment panel. All right, now we've already set up our horizontal layout group. And so now we can start adding our three panels. I'm going to start with the first one here. I'm just going to call this one left panel. For this one, we're going to go with a width of about 125 and a height of 400 to fill that space. We're going to actually turn our alpha off altogether for this one, as this one's just going to be a space holder for us. Now within this left panel, we're going to have four slots for our player that can be equipped. However, this time instead of a vertical layout group, we're going to use a grid layout, which will just equally space the slots that we decide to put in. I'm going to make each of my slots a 90 by 90 size, and I'm going to give them a spacing of 10. We can leave most of these things different the way they are, except for our alignment, which we'll set to middle center. With that done, we can now go about adding our slots. And so I'm going to start by right clicking, and we'll add a UI panel. And there's mercifully little we need to do here as it's all being sized by the grid layout. The only thing we want to do with this panel, first of all, let's name it. Let's call this equipment slot. And then on the slot, we're going to have to add a couple of things. First of all, let's add a UI panel. I'm going to call this one a selected icon. Essentially, this is just going to be the shading that turns on whenever we click it. It's going to right now perfectly overlap. And I'm just going to change my scale to 1.1 on each of these sides so that you get a slight overlap when the item is selected. We can then go back to our items equipment slot, click it, and we're going to add a UI image. This is just going to be the equipment image, which will display the image, so the item that is being equipped. Obviously, we don't want that white square. So again, you can choose if you would like to create an item and see what this looks like. So you could put a placeholder in there, like a sword or a coffee or an axe or something. But you could also just set it to an empty sprite, which is what I'm going to do. The final step here is going to be to click on the equipment slot and add our UI Text Mesh Pro. And this is just going to be the item name. I'm going to use my Rect Transform here to auto expand. So click the bottom right, then hold Option or Alt on PC to center that. I'm going to make this my head slot. And we'll make it pretty. All right, with that done, we have our first item slot here. And I can just, well, click on this item slot. I'm just going to minimize that and Command D to create our four slots. All you have to do at this point is change the item name to whatever it is that you would like this to be. I'm going to have a body slot shirt and legs. With that done, we can now grab this left panel and duplicate it in order to make our right panel. You can open that up and name it as you please. All right, with that done, you can minimize that. And we're getting close to being finished here. The only thing remaining is our center panel. So we can right click. We're going to add a UI panel, call it center panel. So I'm going to go with 250. And I know that 388 is going to fill that space really nicely. I'm then just going to turn off my alpha, as this one's just a placeholder. Obviously, those are not sandwiching the way we want. But if you grab your center panel and move it between the left and right, it'll space things out really nicely. Now, this is a nice, easy one. At this point, we're just going to add a UI image here. Essentially here, you just want the naked image of your player. So you can just call this one player image. At this point, you can add some sort of a placeholder. You could use an empty sprite if you want for the moment. I'm just going to add my naked player image. And at this point, you can just size it up however you want. I believe that 300 by 300 will fill that space pretty nicely. Now later on, what we are going to be doing is essentially using a paper doll method. So later, we will just right click and we'll be adding a UI image to the player. And we'll add one for each of the different parts. So for example, body. 
And then what we will do is you'll just be adding the sprites. So when you equip something to the player's body, it will overlap the player and we'll size it up so that it exactly fits him. But we'll get to that in a later tutorial. For the moment, we're ready to add our final panel. So let's click on our item panel. And this one's actually not too bad. What we're just gonna have to do here is go down to our add component and add a grid layout group one more time, as this is gonna be where the grid for all of our items is. Just gonna set our cell size to 125 by 125, a spacing of 20 by 20, and we will align to middle center. Now we can get started creating this item slot. So we'll create another UI panel called item slot. This will have two parts on it. The first will be another panel, which we'll call selected icon. This is just gonna be the shader that shows up when you select an icon. And so we'll set it to a scale of 1.1 so that it's just a little larger than the slot itself. We can then click on our item slot and add a UI image, which is just the image that will display to show which item is in that slot. And as with usual, if you would like, you could add a sprite in here as a placeholder to see what it looks like. Now you'll notice when I do that, that it is a little too small. And to fix that, you can just click here on your rect transform and you can force expand holding option or alt on PC to set it to fill that space. All right, with that done, I'm just going to close up my item slot here I can now duplicate that sprite. All right, our inventory UI is all set up. In the next video, we'll start doing some coding to make it actually do something. Until then, this is Matt with Night Run Studio. See you in the next video.